Rednecks will rule the world someday. Hi guys, I'm Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And yes, rednecks will, will, <laughs> rule the world someday. That's kind of a lot to say. Why? Because we can build stuff. We can build some better than others, <laughs> but we can build stuff. We typically own a truck. Trucks are good. And uh, hey, when times get tough, uh, we know how to kind of be flexible, like having a fifth wheel. You know, if I really can't heat my house, I can run into my fifth wheel and cook and, and sleep and stay warm, uh, even if my power is out. That's at least one way. Most rednecks have a shop and tools, and they can uh, get things fixed. Uh, you can also turn on the right light. And we usually have a lot of storage <laughs> and lots of little goodies to help us survive. Rednecks typically uh, have freezers and uh, backup generators. And uh, we have, know how to grow food. We have the equipment to do it. Rednecks typically have the infrastructure, the tractors, lawnmowers, gardening equipment, and uh, Rotor tillers, uh, branch ch uh, cutters or choppers, um, and a lot of stuff just because. Yeah, rednecks come in all shapes and sizes. Some are intellectual. Some can hardly spell their name. That would be me. And uh, we, uh, believe it or not, some of us are even high tech. In fact, I think I consider myself a high-tech redneck. But, uh, yeah. Um, rednecks are going to be very important in the future. Uh, if things get tough, suddenly all the people who make fun of us about prepping and building things and growing food and all that kind of stuff, um, suddenly we're going to be the most important people in the world. Rednecks are typically uh, outgoing but actually friendly people, but at the same time can be your worst enemy. They're protective. They're very much family oriented. Uh, believe in nature, growing food, having animals, greenhouses, utilizing the property, uh, being self-reliant. That's a uh, that's a redneck. And rednecks believe in family. They really believe in family a lot. And uh, I really think if times get tough, the new leaders will be rednecks. Another thing about rednecks is they know how to cook. Now it may be meat and potatoes every day, but they know how to cook and barbecue. And uh, you probably won't starve if you're around a redneck. And also rednecks know how to find food even if they don't have it stored away. So uh, let me show you more about what rednecks are capable of. One thing I've noticed about a lot of rednecks is they're God-fearing, of course family-oriented, and really respect the land. And uh, they believe in uh, the patriots. They really believe in the United States, they believe in freedom and liberty. And that's a good thing. They'll be the first ones to own a gun, but they won't be the ones that abuse a gun. And they believe in free speech, and each one of them <laughs> utilizes their free speech one way or another. But most of the time, they're very tolerant to other people's opinions. And that's cool. Another thing about rednecks is they know how to get water. For example, this is our well. 
and you saw our generator earlier on the side here is a special system that I just bring my generator on plug it in flip uh, the backup switches so it doesn't send power back out to the lines and uh, I can water this entire five acres and serve water to our house and we have a 50 gallon holding tank so I don't have to have that generator running all the time but I can literally uh, take care of the landscape and all of our plants uh, with our system and uh, we store water like other people should do and other uh, rednecks they know how to get water in different ways and also like using a Berkey filter or whatever know how to utilize getting water from pools or creeks or streams or ponds and do it safely. Rednecks find every tool possible to be able to preserve food along with freeze drying, canning and um, vacuum sealing bags of food and always having backups of all kinds of things, all the basics of life. Um, that's just a fraction. We also store a lot of food over on the side here. But let me show you our pantry. Rednecks love to store food. Um, not only for themselves, but a lot of times for their family. This is our pantry. This is all just for prepping. A couple of it, some of it's for, for everyday use. This is all prepping up in here, all through here. But we rotate our food so nothing gets old. So we're always, we never prep food that we won't eat. And so, uh, yeah, food. <coughs> we won't be starving. Rednecks also know how to get alternative heat into their homes safely. And rednecks also know how to grow some stuff from scratch. Don't you wish you're a redneck? I don't know if you want to call yourself a redneck or just a self-sufficient person, a wise person, looks to the future a little and protects their family. But I tell you one thing, when times get tough, you better find yourself a community of rednecks. You'll find that they're great people and uh, God-fearing family, community, and wise in ways that right now may not be recognized as being wise but like i said i think rednecks will get the last laugh so guys have a great day don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thank you very much bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.